So next is the uh, reactions in uh, iron carbon equilibrium diagram. So there are three phase reactions occurs in iron carbon equilibrium diagram, which is uh, shows the percentage of carbon on uh, x-axis and percent uh, temperature in degree Celsius on y-axis. So the first reaction is a peritetic reaction. So it will occurs at uh, 1490 degree Celsius temperature with low weight percentage of carbon alloys. So there will be almost no engineering importance for this type of uh, alloys or material. So during a peritectic phase, the delta plus liquid will get converted into the austenite phase. So this is the first uh, reaction in the iron carbon equilibrium diagram. Second one is a eutectic. It will occur at a, a 1130 degree Celsius temperature or 1147 degree Celsius temperature with 4.3 percentage of carbon. So these are like called as a cast iron. So in this reaction, the liquid will get converted into the two solids. So such a reaction is called as a eutectic reaction. The carbon percentage is 4.3 percent for this reaction. Next third reaction is a eutectoid reaction. So it will occur at 727 or 727 degree Celsius temperature with eutectoid composition of 0.8 percent carbon. So two phase mixture of ferrite and cementite is formed. That is called as a perlite and they are also the called as a steel. So in which there are two types of steel. One is a hypo eutectoid steel and second one is a hyper eutectoid steel. Now how to reach the FPC phase diagram. So here this diagram shows the phases, the different phases existing in the material of the steel and cast iron with respect to the uh, percentage of carbon and temperature in degree Celsius. So here first temperature is the 210 degrees Celsius, which is a A0 temperature. Second temperature is A1 temperature that is a 723 or 727 degrees Celsius. Third temperature is a 1130 or 1147 degrees Celsius. And last one is a 1490 degrees Celsius. So the different phases in the iron carbon equilibrium diagram are this is the liquid phase so here the iron present in the pure iron present in the liquid form then here in this region at 1400 degree celsius temperature the first uh, peritectic reaction occurs so here at this point or at this percentage of carbon peritectic reaction occurs so here phase of the diagram is a uh, delta ferrite then here liquid plus delta will get converted into the another solid that is austenite. So this phase is austenite phase. Then here uh, the eutectic reaction occurs at 4.3 percentage of the carbon where liquid phase gets converted into the two solids that is a gamma plus CaP3C. So the region between this liquid and this solid is a gamma plus liquid and here in this side liquid plus cementite phase exists. Then last reaction is a eutectoid reaction. So here at this percent point, 80% percent percentage of carbon, the eutectoid reaction occurs where austenite gets converted into the two solids that is the alpha plus AP3C, which is a perlite. So here 2% will be the range for the steel and 2 to 6.67% 6 will be the range for the cast iron. So we will get a different type of steel from 0.008% uh, carbon to 2% and we will get the different types of cast iron from 2% to 6.67% of the carbon. 
so here at 727 or 723 degree celsius temperature that is a a1 temperature the phase existing is a alpha ferrite which is a soft and ductile in nature while here we get the at more percentage of carbon we get the cemented phase which is quite brittle in nature so these are the different phases existing in the iron carbide equilibrium diagram here in this region uh, that will be the, your a2 temperature is here this temperature is the a3 temperature line this temperature line is a acm temperature line so in this region the phase is a alpha plus austenite that is alpha ferrite and austenite is the phase so we can also see the ferrite phase then austenite then steel that is a from 0.00 8% to 2% is the steel, then 2 to 6% or 6.7% is cast iron, then this zone represents the perlite phase, then this phase represents the perlite and cementite, then this phase represents the perlite and carbide, then the reaction shown at this point is eutectic reaction. Then next is eutectoid reaction. So the iron carbide equilibrium diagram, the first horizontal line at 1490 degrees Celsius where peritectic reaction takes place and liquid plus uh, delta ferrite will get converted into the austenite and vice versa. Second horizontal line is at 1130 degrees Celsius where eutectic reaction takes place and liquid can transfer into austenite and cementite. And third horizontal line is at 727 or 723 degrees Celsius where eutectoid reaction takes place and austenite gets transformed into the perlite that is a mixture of ferrite and cementite. Now the delta region of the FEAP carbide diagram. So here this is the, uh, the diagram for the peritectic reaction. So at this point P the peritectic point 18% carbon. The, Delta plus liquid phase gets converted into the austenite phase. So here, this uh, phase is called as a delta ferrite phase. This region is a uh, liquid. Then this is a austenite, that is gamma. This is a liquid plus austenite. Then point uh, percentage of carbon is a point ten. Here, a percentage of carbon is point one eight, and at point B, percentage of carbon is point fifty percent. So the temperature range is a 1490 degrees Celsius. Then this is the ferrite region that is alpha ferrite at 727 or 723 degrees Celsius temperature. Then 0.03 that is the 0.025 percent is the carbon. So here in this region ferrite plus perlite is present. In this region austenite plus ferrite is present and above this there will be the austenite. So this line is a A3 line. Here A2 temperature is there. And this temperature is what A1 temperature. Percentage of carbon is a 0.025 for the ferrite. Then simplified iron carbon equilibrium phase diagram. So the percentage of carbon on x-axis and on y-axis there will be the temperature. So this is the simplified iron carbon equilibrium diagram for the steel, where alpha ferrite, austenite austenite, liquid plus austenite, austenite plus cementite, ferrite plus cementite phases are exist. Then austenite to ferrite or cemented transformation in the relation to the FP3C diagram. So here the phase present is austenite. Then this is the microstructure of ferrite. So this is the microstructure of the ferrite. Then this is the microstructure of uh, ferrite plus perlite. Then this is a microstructure of the cementite. This is also microstructure of the cementite. This is also microstructure of ferrite plus cementite. So in order to understand the transformation process, consider a steel of eutectoid composition 0.8% carbon begins low cooled along the x x dash line. At the upper temperature, only austenite is present with the 0.8% carbon being dissolved in solid solution with FCC. When the steel cools through 727 degrees Celsius, 
several changes occurs simultaneously so the iron wants to change crystal structure from fcc austenite to bcc ferrite but the ferrite can only contain 0.02% carbon in solid solution the excess carbon is rejected and forms the carbon rich intermetallic plates type structure called as a cementite in pearlite structure the net reaction at the eutectoid is the formation of the pearlite structure since the chemical separation occurs entirely within crystalline solid the resultant structure is a fine mixture of ferrite and cementite this is called as a pearlite next is a picture of the formation on growth growth of the pearlite so here you can see the boundary of the austenite so there will be the formation of the cementite nuclei first then uh, ferrite will be formed then again cementite nuclei and further formation of the ferrite and cementite growth and it will form the interlaminar structure called as a pearlite then nucleation and grain growth of pearlite so this is austenite so cementite nuclei will form first then a ferrite will form at the side of the cementite nuclei then there will be the growth and further nuclei starts for the cementite and further growth of the ferrite occurs so finally we will get the pearlite structure so in this diagram we can show the transformation of the austenite into the pearlite with the different stages so initial there will be the formation of the cementite nuclei then the ferrite will be formed and by diffusion process the interlaminar uh, structure will form for the cementite and ferrite this is called as a pearlite